hey guys how are you doing if you're new to this channel my name is nelly i'm a kenyan i'm a kenyan a proud kenyan so if you're new on this channel welcome to this channel welcome to this family and if you've been around for some time thank you so much for clicking and thank you so much for always clicking on my videos and your support i do not take it for granted i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart so as i said i'm a kenyan and i love kenyans i honestly love kenyans kenyans are special people so <laughs> we see people here on youtube they there are so many reactors that is their job. My job is to be genuine. My job is to be genuine. I'm genuine and I will always be genuine. I do not blow out issues. I just verify and look at things and say something fairly. If Marwa is doing something wrong, I'm going to say it. If Dimwango is doing something wrong, I'm going to say it with love. I'm not just going to be here criticizing and accusing them. But I'm just going to say like a big sister, this is not right. So I'm not here to... to I'm not here to make anyone look bad. I'm a fair person and I'm not here to irritate anyone. If you do if you look at me and you don't like me physically or what you see, then this is not your channel because that people out there they judge you by just looking at you. They don't even listen to what you are saying. They don't even watch your video, but they just come here and look at your face. And if they don't like your face or whatever, if they don't like anything about you, they're just going to, to write negative comments. If you come to this channel and you don't like what you see, you don't like what you're hearing, please just continue moving. This is not your place. Please, I'm not here to defame anyone. I'm not here to make anyone look bad. I'm just here to be fair fair to everybody so in my last video i reacted about dimwango gifting the mother a bmw i was so impressed i was so happy that is the best thing that can ever happen to anyone as a mother and then no one in Kenya has ever done this. D is the first person I've ever seen. They may have done, but I've never seen. But D was the first person for me to see gifting a mother, her mother, a big machine. BMW is not a small machine. So I reacted accordingly. First of all, I liked the fact that she flew them all the way from Nyabahanse to Nairobi and then she brought them to a very classy hotel I up and applauded her for that. That was a very, very best treat anyone can get. So about people saying D could have just bought a car and drive it all the way to Nyabohanse. I'm going to say this. Okay, when you live in a village, you work in the village, your life is in the village coming to the city is always an opportunity and i'm just thinking d in her thinking saying say, thought this is an opportunity for my parents to come explore the city soft life so that was just a treat a treat i would do the same too when someone says that if they were the parents they cannot fly to nairobi that's not true that's a lie that's someone lying if i'm a parent i live in the village it will be a very good like the happiest moment for someone to fly me to nairobi to that soft life 
So anyone saying they wouldn't do that, that's a lie. One thing I know in Kenyan societies, you cannot invite your big brother to come to you. You always go to your big brother. There's no way Devi can invite Ayamarwa to come to see him or Dimwango invite Marwa to come to her. It doesn't work like that in Kenyan societies. The young ones always go to the big ones. So that's how it works. You can invite your parents, but when it comes to your brother, it's respect. You don't invite your big brother to come to you. Your big brother can invite you to go to them, but you as a young one, you cannot invite your brother to come to you, especially when you are a sister. Even when you are a man, when you are a young brother, you cannot invite your big brother to come to you. It's just respect. And that is how Kenyan societies work. You cannot invite your older brother to come to you. It is always the other way around. Okay. And another thing I said, so in this case, before I move on, Dimwango cannot invite I am Marwa to come to her. It's I am Marwa who can invite Dimwango to go to him. So it was just in order. So another thing, I saw someone say something like, I am Marwa and Rocio broke up live on live. I am Marwa did not, was not addressing Rocio. Someone said something in the comment about I am Marwa buying horses. So the person was like the money you channel to horses, you could have used the money to bring in solar. And then I am Marwa was just responding to the person saying it's already done. That's past. So I am Marwa was not saying that it's done between him and Rocio. It was done between him and the horses and the solar panel okay so exaggerating things sometimes doesn't look right so uh we are going to watch this clip about ayamarwa respond where people were saying that they broke up live on 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 live on his life and again another thing i saw is by this time Rocio should getting horses was good idea but not practical you could have channeled the funds towards the solar and right now you could be saving the diesel for generator guys it's already done now that's the past i can't be fighting myself from the front and from the back it's already it's already done guys Babe. Are you saying something about my mood? Mom, I'm live. Can I finish live stream first? Because I'm getting comments. Like, I don't know what you said about me. Yes, can I finish live stream? I don't know where you were, you had gone. Huh? I just don't know where you had gone. I was asking where you had gone. I didn't know you were going to go. Alright. Guys, Rocio is here. Those who are asking for Rocio. He's right there. <sighs> Use the top star says by everyone. I have solar panels on my house and it pays off. It's costly. It's costed a lot, but it worked out. Oh man. Check it. Mom, I'm live. Can I finish live stream first? Because I'm getting comments. Like, I don't know what you said about me. Yes, can I finish live stream? I don't know where you were. You had gone. Huh? I just don't know where you had gone. I was asking where you had gone. I didn't know you were going to go. Alright. Guys, Rocio is here. Those who are asking for Rocio. He's right there.
Use the top star, says by everyone. I have solar panels on my house, and it pays off. It's costly. It's costed a lot, but it worked out. Solar are good. Actually, I'm, I'm into the solar. The village, the, that village attitude of I don't chase a woman, check it off. You might end up alone. I'm not afraid to be alone, guys. <clears throat> that one is the last thing you should, I should be scared of. Yes. I gave it one more... I give it one more month. I don't know what you mean. Mm. Okay, guys. Hey, today's today. Mara, when are you going to see your sister? Should I go to see my sister or my sister should come and see me, guys? Why you guys always put pressure on me and you don't see the other side? You know, you know, I have a home. You should say, when is your sister visiting you? I think you guys like to actually, some of you, not all, some of you. Eh. Maro, what's the best way to donate to you guys? I By this time, Rusia should understand I am Maro has reactors who react negatively about him and they are all also in the comment section so rocio is supposed to be the first person who understands i am marwa so for her like to interrupt i am marwa's live and say something like babe did you say something about me i can see the comment so that was i, I think it was of her insisting marwa to tell her what he had said and that was not right that was not right just the same way marwa told her can you wait i finish my life okay she should have waited and asked for that later on it was it was it showed people they are they have a difference or they're having an issue for her to interrupt the live and ask Marwa on live, did you say something about me? So she wanted Marwa to respond to her on live for everyone to hear what Marwa had said. I was like, what the F? So Rocio should be the one who understands Marwa has people who are negative about him in the comment sections and they can say anything they can say anything so when the way rocio reacted it it showed as like they have a difference and when marwa also said something like he doesn't celebrate things that people have created he meant valentine <laughs> i I watched that video and I repeated it to understand because it looked like Maro was so mad about Dimwango having a family meeting in the city without him. Now, I think Maro was frustrated, frustrated with the electricity issue and it had nothing to do with the Dimwango. Actually, you might realize that most of these things that D did Maro was in communication and it's something that he actually participated in. So people just overthinking and judging like D Mwango is I am Marwa's young sister. And we saw Marwa was the one who brought D into YouTube. Actually, the very first beginning, Ma D said herself on a journal. Marwa used to pay her to create video, videos. So whenever she did videos, Marwa could pay her. That now you said, you know what, I want to start YouTube because for my case, I didn't know anything, not until when my brother came and, and he was like, since you know Your what, brother you want to start who is, who is I am Marwa? Yeah. Yeah. I'm this guy right here, bro. What's up? <laughs> yeah. So it's okay. right, it's dope, yeah. And he uh. said, well, do you know what, since when I go to Nairobi, I want to get you a good camera, a laptop, your work is just to start. So for you, how was the start? You know, because right now we see Miss Rudy as 
that famous lioness? Our right now? Yeah, African lioness. African lioness. African lioness. I'm a parent you now from today henceforth. Yeah. African lioness. Yeah. So Take that seat, noise. actually. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I always felt like there is more to life than this. Mm -hmm. I, I just felt like, you know, when I used to stand in the supermarket, I used to ask mm -hmm. myself, Yanni, this is what my life is. Mm -hmm. Yanni, I was born, I, I grow up, I go to school, and then I come and work in the supermarket and then die. Mm -hmm. I just felt like I have another purpose. Mm -hmm. There's something more. So that's when I started. I, I saw YouTube, I decided to just try it out. Just try it out. Yeah. So how was the experience, you know, as a touching YouTuber? You post videos and they're like, men they're not doing good. So how was your experience? Because for me, Mara could tell me what, you know, what scenes you want to make it, you want to make it. You yeah, I used to tell her about <laughs> tags and stuff, thumbnail. So at least I had so that in And, had and oh. guys, I forgot to say this. Do you know what? Mara used to pay me for making my own videos. You yeah. tell me that's that. Who does that, man? So I could feel like, man, I'm already monetized, I already have money. Every weekend if I upload videos, I guess hey, right. only a good brother does that, okay? <laughs> only a good brother. Hey, I've been hanging out with yeah. these guys the, the whole morning, as in her and the bro, like that relationship is just something else. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So tell me. <laughs> something else, guys, that I realized. Someone said that in the comment, there was someone who said that Dimwango and um it's only actually david jr who is the true kid to dimango's father what did i tell you guys i said in kenya we all use our father's names if you find people dimango i am marwa david jr don't use their father's name there is something about it there is something about it so it's not a surprise What's wrong i analyzed everything and i'm fair i said i'm fair i don't i don't blow things out of proportion i'm very fair if you observe d buying the mother a car not buying the dad a car and the way it is they don't treat their dad badly but they respect him because of their mother so they cannot do everything for him but they still respect him they treat him nicely that is just enough that is just enough i don't know why people just want too much from d i analyzed the way everything is because i've been questioning i've been questioning I've been questioning why is it that why is it that they have never been in he, this dad is never there even when they are going to school it just used to be their mother and I even doubt David Jr. someone said David Jr. is the only child to this man I don't know maybe but according to me unless I know the names of the real names for David Jr according to me in kenya we all use our parents names and when you don't know your father like in kikuyu community they will use their mother's name as their surname but the rest of the family if you see the last name belongs to your father your last name belongs to your father okay so like myself my name is nelly my dad's name was Shamir, so my name is going to be Nelly Shamir. So when I get married, then I drop the name Shamir, I replace it with my husband's. That is how it happens in Kenya. The middle names are usually initials, but I will use Nelly Shamir because Shamir is my father's name. And when I get married, if I want to change my name to my husband's name, I will replace Shamir with my husband's name. That is what happened to me. And now I don't use my father's name. So my last name is now my husband's name. So my kids will also use my husband's name. That is how it works. If you see people who don't use it, then their father is not their father. So people are just blowing things out of proportion. I don't know the intention, 
I have no idea what the intentions are. So, coming back to the video, coming back to the video, I did not see where Rocio and Marwa have broken up. Marwa saying that I'm not afraid to be alone is from the comment that he read from the live chat where someone was telling him that with his attitude he will find himself alone and he said that he's not afraid to be alone it doesn't mean he was trying to address the issues they have you if you realize marwa was already irritated about i think the electricity issue actually the electricity issue i think they're trying to frustrate him in a way where i come from you could just pay 30k and the electricity was installed 30k is less than 300 us dollars and then the electricity is installed and that's in the village so it just needs some one person to install electricity in this village and then the rest of the people will get it cheap and maybe this person maybe they think it's marwa because marwa is the one who looks like has the money that's why the kenya power people are frustrating him it, it takes a rich person to install the electricity in the village and then the rest of the people will get the electricity cheaply so this person happens to be marwa <laughs> So he either installs the electricity or they, waste, they wait for the next tycoon in Yabohanze to install the village, then the electricity will be cheap. The first person in every village spends too much to install electricity. But after that one person, the rest of the people will just get the electricity cheaply. Okay? So I had to react to this because... Actually, when I saw this, I was like, Rocio and Marwa broke up? Really? So I had to go watch that live again to verify if it's true. I did not find anything true in that live. So it was just Marwa's reaction to the fans and those fans who are negative, actually. Those who don't the fans who don't like Marwa are the one who are commenting with very negative comments. So Marwa had to respond to those negative comments. And I was like, why is Marwa even bothering to respond to people who are negative? That's even more stress. When someone comments on your life negatively, just ignore them. Ignore them. And why doesn't Marwa have moderators? Marwa needs moderators. To respond to these fans you know why doesn't marwa have moderators marwa you need to get moderators they will help you out you don't have to respond to the comments in a live chat that is the work of moderators you don't have to respond to negative comments because there are people who there no matter what you do they will never like you they will never like you okay so that has been it for now thanks for watching again my name is nelly if you are new here and please consider subscribing leave a comment please to make me at least correct what i have said wrong or what you think leave a comment and give this video a like if you like it and subscribe please to support me thanks for watching Bye-bye.